Today, the dance we're doing is called Cha Cha Cha. So that's usually the first dance we dance at competition. Cha Cha is very uh, playful. It's very cheeky. That's why I'm wearing this little fringe top today for you guys. Um, it's very fun to dance uh, when you dance in partnership or even alone. Um, so yeah, it's a very flirty dance. I'll just show you the basic step and then we're gonna start dancing and I'll explain a bit of technique with that, okay? So I'm gonna put myself uh, back to you and we're gonna put our feet together, okay? We're gonna take the left leg, one step to the side. So one, then take this leg, go back. Two, it's a weight transfer. Three, and cha, cha, one, and you take the left leg, you put it in front. Two, three, again, sha, sha, one, two, three, sha, sha, one, two, three, sha, sha, one. So as you can see, the middle step, the cha, cha, one, the chasse, that's how we call it. When I do cha, cha, one, obviously you can do it on both sides, um, is basically a step with a weight transfer. So it's just a normal step. Then you take your leg that is pointing. You need to have a very nice and strong point, okay? We need pressure on the floor. I don't wanna see any loose feet. So whenever you do a step in ballroom dancing, if it's a step to the side or if it's a step to the front, okay? We, I always want to see good pressure in the feet. I'm always pushing against the floor, okay? And that's gonna help you with stability, all right? So um, the first step is just a step to the side with my point, and then you take your leg, you press it on a demi point, okay? It looks like this, demi point. Then you push from that same leg to make another step, okay? That's the chasse. So how it goes, it goes cha, cha, one. Yeah, good, good. Once again, cha, cha, one. Okay, if I do it on the side, it's gonna look like this. Cha, cha, one. Okay, I can do it on the other side. And cha, cha, one. All right, so that's the basic, basic step and theory of cha cha. That's the middle step, the chasse. Okay, um, with that, like I said, I really need you guys to put the demi point in the middle and with that foot, okay? So if you just look at this leg, just this foot, you can see my demi point. I'm gonna push into the floor, okay? I need to push into the floor to push my body to the side. So I'm really gonna use this weight and use this leg to do a step to the side, okay? So it's gonna push me. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time, the whole basic step, uh, back to you. And from the beginning, you have your right leg straight and your left leg bent like this with a very nice point at the end, yes. And for the girls, I need you guys to have your knee a little bit closed up, okay? So for the boys, you can stay a bit more straight and the girls, we need a bit more closed, yes, like that. So from the beginning, and five, six, seven, eight, one, back, two, three, sha, sha, one, two, three, sha, sha, one, two, three, sha, sha, one. Right now, I'm only doing the legs for you guys, okay? So you can keep your arms in front of you. All right, you can keep your arms like this for now, just like a very nice posture. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, so I'm gonna show it one more time and I'll do it facing you this time. Okay, from the beginning, girls, I need your knees a bit more closed. So we have the left leg again, it's crossed and it's bent in a very nice point, okay? And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Sha, sha, one, two, three. Sha, sha, one, good, two, three, very good. Sha, sha, one, two, three. 
Sha cha. One, two, three. Sha cha. One. So in that step, there's a theory called um, when you do go, you go back, then you come forward, you go to the side, and when you do your step in front, okay, this step. All right. Before going back to the side, this step is called the check. Okay. It looks like this. It's not a normal step in front. A normal step would just look like this. But I want you guys to do a check, which means your back leg needs to be bent and your front leg is straight, okay? And your knees are going one into the other, all right? So when I do my check, it looks like this. Boom. It needs to be very stable and very fast because when we do it with the music, it's going to look like this. One, two, three, cha-cha, one, check. And I need the check to be very, very clean, very direct, okay? Boom. In the back, you have a demi point. Right now, I'm so stable that if somebody pushes me, I'm not even going to fall because the check needs to be very stable, okay? You are split weight. Your weight is not in front, and your weight is not in the back. It's in the middle, okay? All righty. Um, so this is the basic step. Let me show you one more step and then we're going to go more into technique. All right. Okay. So, um, to this, we're going to add the alternative step, which is once again, from the beginning, legs closed. Uh, I need your left leg bent five, six, seven, eight, one. And then this one, you're not going to go back. You're going to bring your leg. You're going to go switch, switch cha cha one and switch switch good cha cha one switch switch cha cha one switch switch good cha cha one switch switch cha cha one switch switch very good i'm gonna do it one more time i'll be back to you and so now we're gonna do the basic step and right away we're gonna do the alternative step and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, cha, cha. One, two, three. And now alternative and switch, switch, cha, cha. One, switch, switch, cha, cha. One, okay? I'll do it facing you. And five, six, seven, eight. One, basic step, cha, cha. One. Basic step and alternative and switch, switch, cha cha one, switch, switch, cha cha one. Okay, very good, very good. So I'm just gonna tie my shoe. I can see that you guys uh, are very good at this. I think you, you probably already learned this. Let's talk a little bit about technique. Okay, so in ballroom dancing, uh, such as any other sport like ballet, um, skating, all of that. You guys already know that posture is very important, right? Okay. But in ballroom dancing, posture is a little bit different. Okay. Um, when you hold your arms in front of you, I need you to imagine like you have two tennis balls. Okay. Two, one, one ball here, one ball here, right under your arm. And it's holding you. Let me see if I have a little ball here. Okay. Look, I have a ball here. Okay. Like if you have a ball under your arm. Okay? And it's holding you from not closing your arm completely on you. Okay? So when you're dancing, you need to imagine that you have this ball right here, right under your arm. And it keeps you from, from letting your arms fall onto your body. Okay? If I show you, if I look at you, and I look at you like this. Okay? For example, I have this. And I look at you like this, or I look at you like this. What looks bigger? What looks more, wow, obviously when I have a frame, that's how we call it, we call it the frame. So it looks bigger, okay, it looks a lot better. In ballroom, especially girls, we need to keep this posture, okay? Like in ballet, you already, you guys already, probably already did ballet or heard of it, okay? In ballet, we have this, but in ballroom, even if I'm doing arms, okay? Even if I'm doing ballroom dancing arms, I'm always keeping space under my arms, never touching my own body. This looks very small, okay? So you can apply that to your form of sport, okay? Also, so here we talked about arms. 
Whenever we're gonna do the basic step now, I will need you to hold this posture, okay? So shoulders down. I don't want any shoulders up. Shoulders down, arms in front of you, and I need space here, okay? Imagine those two little tennis balls right under your arms, keeping your shoulders down, and I need a very long neck, okay? So you see this space between my shoulder and my ear? I need it to be the longest possible, all right? So without doing this, without doing chin up, so your chin needs to be relaxed. I don't need any chin up, no chin down, just in front of you, but this space right here needs to be very long. Okay, we need to be very tall. So, yes, exactly. Yeah, with the mirror, it's a very good idea to practice that with the mirror. Okay, so if you have a wall at your house, you can go in front of the wall and you can actually place yourself and see if you can be all straight in the back. Yes, like this. And try to, try to go, um, try to stretch your spine as much as possible to be very tall. It gives, if you, if you compare a person that is like this with a posture that is crooked, no neck, okay, to a person that is standing like this, you can already see how professional they are, right? And we want to look professional. We want to look good. We, we want to look like we're good athletes, okay? So whenever we think about posture, so number one is the arms, okay? The neck, the arms. Number two, I need your rib cage and your hip uh, area to be one on top of each other. So I don't want them to be separated, okay? So abs in, stomach in, all right? Like in ballet. I need hips, hips and chest, one on top of each other, which means I don't want to see this, okay? A lot of ballroom dancers dance like this. No, we need everything in, okay? So close your rib cage, keep your rib cage on top of your hips, like everything, everything on top of each other, okay? So you can be as long as possible, all right? So arms, neck, we have our, our general posture here, okay? And even when I move my hips, okay? Even when I do this, the switch, switch, I don't want you to, to break your back. Never, ever, ever. This, you keep it in, okay? So it's like if you have your spine, all right? So from starting from my head to my legs, I have like one long, a uh, string and everything that I do dances around the string. Okay, so whenever I, if I do the switch, switch step and I go cha cha one, switch, switch, cha cha one, switch, switch. When I do the switch, switch, my spine is very long. Okay, I'm trying to touch the, the sky, all right? But at my hips and my knees, everything goes around, around it. It goes around, okay? Mm -hmm.